Help me, Albert. Antonio, help me. Stay right here, both of you. Help me, Albert. Talia? Yeah. <laughs> You're not the one who killed him. Wish there was some way I could take your pain. So do I. Wes, don't. I'm sorry. That was way out of line. Oh, I do not have to apologize. Yeah, I do. All right, I, I shouldn't have done that, not after everything you've been through. I'm okay. I'm all right. Hey, it's just that Lee Halpern screwed us both over, and I, I felt this... I don't know, connection to you. I don't know what I'm gonna do if I don't... If I don't find Lee and make her testify against Todd. They'll find her. He has to pay for what he did. He will. Wes, that's all I can think about. You've been such a good friend to me. I'm... I'm just not ready for anything else. There's more to it than that. Uh, can I just get a uh, club soda, please? Did I see you at uh, Mang's trial earlier? Uh, yes, yeah. You a reporter or something? <laughs> uh, teacher. Uh, teacher. You teach law? If you want to know why I was on trial, uh, my mother was Star Manning's daughter. Because when you left the courthouse, I didn't know quite where you were headed. Are you all right? Is it true that Aunt Dorian gave this house to Mo and Noel and that she decided to become a Buddhist? Uh, yeah, apparently, but I think we have more important things to discuss right now. Well, you don't have to. Langston already yelled at me for not testifying that, uh, Dad was kidnapping my baby. Okay, look, I'm not going to yell at you, and I'm not mad at you at the slightest, all right, sweetie? Really? No. Then that puts you in a definite minority. Matthew! What the hell? What do you think you're doing? Same thing you're doing, except with pot instead of pills. Okay. Well, I managed to stop David from signing over all his future wealth to Dorian. Uh, yeah. bad news? I know this woman. It's only a matter of time before she figures out another way to get her hands on all that Buchanan money. Did you see that, Dorian? A shooting star. <laughs> what a glorious end to our trek up the mountain. Yes, it's marvelous. I've decided there's nothing more than I like than a brisk hike in the winter air to cleanse the body and soul. Ah, yes. I feel absolutely robust. Come clean. You hated every minute. seeker of enlightenment, not an idiot. I know you. And I know you, David. I just would like to really know you, you know? Oh, come on, David. Oh, you're the one who's insisted that we remain chaste. 
Dorian, you've strayed. Hop back on the path. Why is it you're so interested in the life that I lead? What do you get from it? Isn't it obvious? Inner peace. The Dorian I know only likes two things, money and drama. Inner peace gets you neither. Can't you see, David? I've changed. No, I do not see that you've changed. I see that you want something. But since I have nothing, I cannot for the life of me figure out what it is that you want. Why are you trying to make me believe that you believe what I believe? Dorian's fake. She has no body stuff off and body armor. <laughs> I love it when you talk dirty. Okay, look. I know Norman's faking it. Last time I saw the Vicar Rose, she wasn't buying either. So how'd she do it? How'd she convince him that she was this, this, this peace-loving, oath-taking, poverty-stricken Buddhist? First, she handed over La Boule to most Stubbs and his girlfriend, Noel. Paris, Texas. Mo and Noel. Yeah. Step number two, she concocts this zen-sounding shell company and donated all of her money to it. Get out. Oh, yeah. She won up Mr. Zen Master himself. You want to guess what step three was? Daring David to follow her lead. You got it. If he loves enlightenment as much as he says he does... He's going to he... sign over his future wealth to Dorian's bogus company. And there goes the Buchanan Empire. Signed, sealed, and delivered to Dorian Lord in three short steps. No, 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 but you stopped it, right? He, he didn't sign it. Oh, he tore up the papers. Dorian looked like she wanted to feed me to a wood chipper. She definitely knows David's ace's son. But, but, but how? How does she know? I'm guessing there was a beaver involved. Sorry for your loss. I know Star and her mom liked uh, Dr. John. Oh, huh, thank you. Yeah, you know, besides well, besides raising me, my mom put everything she had into her work. She even, uh, you know, kept pictures of all the babies that she delivered. Never, It never became not special to her, bringing new life into the world. Can you imagine somebody like that killing themselves? Can you? And now, you know, now the cops are asking all these questions, like trying to prove that she was involved in Manning's baby napping schemes. <laughs> yeah, I heard Lee Hopper was going to testify your mom was in on it. Yeah. Well, now it's looking like uh, she might not be testifying at all. So. I'm just never here to be with anyone after. Todd, I, that's why I pulled away when you tried to kiss me. You and, it's all on me. It's got nothing to do with you. I, I know. It's got nothing to do with me. And everything to do with John McBain. I'm sorry you're taking the heat for letting your dad off the hook. I can handle it. Well, sweetie, you're carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders. You don't need to carry everybody else's stuff. Oh, like everyone counting on me to put my dad away for life, that kind of stuff? Look, I know that you were nervous about testifying today. I know that, but you were also committed to doing it. And Star, your father did tell you that he was planning on kidnapping Hope. But he didn't do it. And now you are mad at no, me. No, sweetheart, I promise you. I'm not mad at you. But I am curious on why you changed your story. See, I'm thinking that either your dad or Taya leaned on you. Who was it and what did they do to you? Oh, CSU is on their way. Oh. Fantastic. At least now we'll get some answers with basis in fact. I'm telling you the truth. I swear to you. I killed that woman. Look at me, don't you? Look at me, look at me. Please, look at me. This just keeps getting better by the minute. What, you rip your shirt, uh, you grab the knife, you tell me you killed her, and then, uh, what, I'm supposed to believe you? I'm not lying. I am not lying. When are you going to stop doing his dirty work? No. Why would I? Why? Why would I confess, don't you? To killing someone that I didn't kill. Why would I do that? I wouldn't. Come on, go on. Get it out. Get it out. Don't you? You have Because I don't believe you, okay? You didn't do it. And when forensics gets it, that's exactly what they're going to prove. You're not, you're not helping this guy out, Lee. But you're sure as hell going to go down as an accessory if you don't start telling the truth. Oh, I didn't kill her. Why are you holding the knife? 
nine. Todd had every reason to kill that woman. Todd had everything to gain. If Lee Halpern was suddenly unable to testify, I can see why you and Officer Saeed would think that he killed her. But he didn't. I did. It was in self-defense. And frankly, Antonio, the one sh who should be answering questions is your partner. Wasn't she supposed to be guarding Ms. Halpern? Uh, huh? Okay, after she read the article in Todd's paper about all of her prior exploits, she knocked me out and she took off. You are a cop with a gun. You have a problem keeping a middle-aged nurse under a lock and key? You know what? You're the one who's going to have a problem. Okay. Start from the beginning, Claire. How did you come to kill Lee Halpern in Todd's house with him standing right here? I know somebody made you change your mind, Star. Now, who was it? Was it Taya? Your father tried to commit suicide. Nobody got to me, Star. Nora. Nora. Nora, yeah. She she kept talking about how long Dad was going away for, and I, I didn't want to see that happen. I felt bad for him. I mean, you did too. Isn't that why you let Jack and Sam see him the other uh, night? No, no. I let the boys see your father because they needed to see him. I didn't do it as a favor to your dad. Well, I, I couldn't put Jack and Sam's father in prison. Even though I do think he should pay for what he did to Cole's mom and to me, what he did to Hope. But I couldn't do it. And I don't think you could have either. No. Cops don't pick up Halper and there's no one to implicate your mother in Manning's kidnapping attempt. Right. Also means Manning skates and everything he's been accused of. But just wait. <laughs> wait a second. I know you. I recognize you from the paper. You're the you're the cop. You're the cop that rescued Dr. Saybrook. Ex cop. So you must really want this Halpern woman to uh, pay for letting Manning get away with keeping his rape victim locked up in his house all that time. You think if I were ready for a relationship, it would be, it would be John? Not only do I not remember if, if I had a relationship with him, I can't stand the guy. There it is. But what is? All that feeling for the guy. Oh, you know, have you seen the way he acts towards me? I can't stand to be in the same room with him. Really? Then why is it that you will find any excuse just to see him, huh? Why do you go out of your way to get in his out place? Out of my way. Yeah, I mean, look, God knows I hate the guy, okay? But... <laughs> There's obviously something between you two. Oh, gosh, now you sound like Blair. Look, I'm not saying this to upset you, okay? I was wrong to try to kiss you. We are just friends, and I get that. But maybe if you admit how you feel about John, he won't be so mad all the time. I came to check on Todd. The door was open, and I knew instinctively something was wrong. I was afraid for Todd, so I came in. I started calling Todd... Todd, and that is when she jumped out at me. She had a knife, she was hysterical, and she was yelling at me that I had destroyed her life, that Todd and I had destroyed her life. Destroyed it how? The article printed in the newspaper. She was worried that every person she'd ever conned would come out of the woodwork and try to get her. Oh, wow. She was terrified. Yes, she was furious. I mean, and terrified. Which, which was it? Yeah. She was terrified. And furious. Mm. As <clears throat> was I. So, I grabbed her arm to keep her from cutting me. It's still the street fighter, huh? Yeah. I managed to get the knife away from her. But she, she wouldn't stop. She was all over me, and in the struggle, she got stabbed. Right in the heart. You do the 
in my room. Hmm? Look, I'm sorry, but everyone keeps coming into my room ever since they found the joint in my bag. Dude, you told me you bought this pot to look cool. You said you never tried it. I haven't. But this kid, Justin, he's all over Becca, and he keeps saying I don't have the guts to smoke. The guy is a loser. Look, I just want to see what the big deal is. It's not going to happen, okay? Give it back to me, or I'm going to tell everyone that you pop pills. I want nothing but happiness. The, the, the happiness that you have found. But, but not happiness, joy. There's a difference. Joy, joy. I want to find joy. I, I want to be one with joy. I want to be one with the change that I seek. But it is absolutely impossible in the face of this unrelenting doubt. Peace achieved without adversity is no peace at all. Then help me, David. Help me! Show me the way! Show me the path! You, you want something, Dorian, and it is not the joy of poverty. Now, either you tell me exactly what it is, or we march right back up that mountain, and we do not stop until you can't walk anymore. No! No. You're right. You're absolutely right. My motives are not pure. I think I'm going to regret saying these words as soon as they pass my lips. No. Never regret speaking the truth. The reason I've been trying so hard to prove myself to you is I still love you. And I will do anything to make you love me back. Where are David and Dorian now? Uh, I left them at the Buenos Dias Cafe, but that was a while ago. I gotta figure out my next move. I gotta talk to Bo and Clint and... Where's Clint in the UK? He's not back till late tonight. Well, then Bo's your guy. He's hard to find, too. He's been busy with uh, police stuff lately. And for some reason, he's been spending a lot of extra time with Matthew. I mean, you give it back to me, or I'm gonna tell my mom and dad that you're popping pills. You know what? I'll tell John, too. Do what you have to do, but you're not getting this back. You'd rather get caught than let me smoke. Yeah, come in, Ray. Oh, there you are. Just the young man I've been looking for. E me what? Because you lied to me, and I want to know why. I know the pull that your father has on you, sweetheart. He has a pull on all of us. And I'm not asking you not to love him. I would never, ever do that. Star, listen to me. I'm really worried. I'm worried that you may have gotten yourself in some serious legal trouble here because you perjured yourself on the stand. And listen, if they finally help her, they could, she could completely contradict your story. Well, I'm kind of hoping that she's gone for good. Where was he during, uh, during this whole thing? With, uh, well, I was not here. I, I went to see Star to thank her for not testifying against me. Right. That was a doozy, wasn't it? One minute, Star's uh, testifying that you were trying to kidnap her daughter, and the next, she uh, she decides she's lying. Yeah, it's almost as if somebody uh, got to her. I'm gonna go check the kitchen. Oh, and, and then, of course, the, the only other person that could testify against you is here, dead, on your uh, living room floor. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, so if you can get Star to, to give you an alibi, you're good to go. You haven't heard from your father tonight? No. I don't want to talk to him. Or anyone else. What, does that include me? No, I'm... I, I'm just tired. That's all. Okay. Well, you... You rest. And, um, I'm gonna head out for a little while, so if you need me, you call me for anything, all right? What did I do? You're gonna leave Star out of this. Oh, I guess, uh... I guess that means you don't have an alibi. She wasn't home. Right. I'll say another word. Come on, after that Oscar-winning performance in there? What are you doing, Dan? I'm protecting my client. Huh. Oh, because I thought this whole time you were, uh... uh grieving for the, for the woman in there that you just... 
killed. Antonio, check the knife. It has my prints on it. Obviously, the AI was in your hand when we walked in. So the murder weapon matches a set of knives in the kitchen. It wasn't murder. Self-defense. Lee must have grabbed the knife from the kitchen, waiting for Todd, but she got me instead. Are you seriously going to stick with that story? I wish I could just ignore John, but I can't. I think you're confused. Maybe a little scared about whatever's between you guys. All, right, all I know is that he says he understands me and he goes and does the exact opposite of what I really need. Like dragging Todd out of a river after you talked him into offing himself? Yes! <sighs> Look, just because people don't do what you want doesn't mean they don't get you. What does that mean? I'm guessing John saved Todd for your sake. <sighs> you're no killer, Marty. Yes, I am. Telling the truth. I did this. You see this? I did this. Fine, suit yourself. You're under arrest for the murder of Lee Halpern. You still love me? <sighs> Look at me, David. I've hobbled my feet. I, I, I'm wearing this highly unflattering outfit. I've given away all my worldly possessions, all to prove myself worthy of you. Dorian, you don't have to prove yourself worthy of anyone. But I want to, David. I, I want to show you that I will do anything to be with you. I will give up the world as I know it. I mean, why do you think I was so out of control when you married my sister? Why I did everything I could to break the two of you up? I know. You threatened to cut off my sacred lingam. I could not bear the thought that you had chosen her instead of me. And, and why do you think I'm so jealous, Vicky? Your friendship with her just makes me nuts. We were so close to being married, and then you, you let Spencer blackmail you into leaving me at the altar. I've always regretted hurting you that way. Why aren't you saying that you're sorry we're not married? Hey. Miss Kramer, hi. Hi. Hey. You know each other? Yeah, he's, um, Dr. Joplin's son and star science teacher. Uh, I didn't mention that. Mask. How's Star? Well, she had a tough time at court today, but I'm sure it wasn't very easy for you either. I'll be okay. Thank you. So, go. I'm good. So, any word from any of your friends at the police department about me helping? No, I'm sorry. You know, I just don't want her to show up and contradict Star. I mean, I'm just worried what's going to happen to my little girl. talk to anyone. But I brought you something. What? Don't be mad, but I overheard you and Langston fighting before. You're eavesdropping? I'm sorry, but I had to find out what happened in court today. Nobody would tell me. So you didn't write out Dad, and now everybody's mad at you. You really shouldn't be eavesdropping. I know, and I'm sorry, but now I'm glad I know the truth. Is that it? No. I thought you can use an old friend. Sam had him, but he doesn't really need him anymore. I know it's lame, but I don't know what else to do. Thank you for not putting Dad in jail. And thank you for letting me and Sam keep our dad. At this point, I doubt Nora wants to bring Star up on perjury charges. I just feel so bad. Star. Just hard on her. You know. And I know one of them got to her. I don't know if it was Taya or Todd, but one of them got to her. And John, she's being torn apart by all this, and I know she still is tied to her father, whether she wants to be or not. Who am I kidding? He still has the same effect on me. There's no chance Maury's gonna let you in. Not unless you give her the room she needs to live her life the way she wants to. 
no matter how much you're hung up on her. Yeah, I get that. So you're a killer, huh? Who do you kill? I convinced Todd to jump off that building, and I was relieved when he did it. The guy's still breathing. Yeah, thanks to John. I suppose he thinks he saved me from having to live with a death on my conscience. He did you a favor, trust me. Marty, I've killed people. Okay, and even if it was for my country, it's changed me. You start to think that human life isn't worth so much after all. The scene is right here. This appears to be the murder one. Tony, don't let's tell if it's... <laughs> Turn around. Put your hands behind your back. Remembers me as his gentle, law-abiding girlfriend that he once knew, but... That one's gone. I wish Todd and Janet the absolute worst for what they did to me. Sonia, Sonia, put away the cuffs, okay? You think you're gonna call my bluff and get Todd to, to confess? He didn't do it. I'm taking you in for questioning. Fine. My story's not gonna change. Because it's the truth. John really understood me. Maybe he'd accept the fact that I'm not the forgiving type anymore. Maybe I never was. Look here, kiddo. I let you go out the other night while you conveniently forgot to tell me that you were grounded. I'm sorry. Well, you better be, because I'm not catching hell from your parents again. So get on back to your own room, get ready for bed before your mom comes home. All right. <sighs> okay, what's going on between you and Matthew, huh? N don't say nothing, because I could see you were bent out of shape when I came in. Well, of course I'm bent out of shape. I mean, Star told a different story on the stand today. Yes, I heard, and I'm so sorry. And now my old friend Lee Halpern is missing. Wait, that lady's your friend? Old friend from a former life. You know, I tried to convince her to do the right thing, Cole. But obviously, sometimes people don't have the guts to do the right thing. Yeah. Well, Lee Halpern will get what's coming to her. Hey, Rob. Get next to your buddy there. Yeah. Huh? We're, we're going to take a picture, and we're also going to need to uh, have those clothes that you're wearing for analysis. We want to make sure to hand those over. Say cheese. You know, I can hold you for 24 hours without charging you. Let's go. Can we just get this over as soon as possible? Todd and I need to be in court tomorrow so I can make sure that he spends the rest of his life with his family and not in prison. <laughs> of course. Without uh, prosecution star witness. Getting this family man acquitted will be a hell of a lot easier than before now. Won't it? Sorry about me trying to kiss you before, right? Like I said, I was way out of line. You've been a very good friend to me. Good enough to call me on this thing I have with John. So you're admitting you have a thing now? I, do, I don't have a thing. Maybe the woman that I was before had a thing. <sighs> but the thing is... Even if I could remember some of my past, if I could access some of those feelings would be a huge mistake. How do you know that? Because the last time I let myself trust someone, it was Todd. I am in no shape. No shape to let something like that happen again. Even with John. She set the alarm. You had about 30 seconds before the thing starts going off. I know how to close. Now get out of here. All right, sure? Yep. Thanks, G. You going home to Star? She said she wanted to be alone. There's a lot riding on tonight. Cops finding Halpern. Were there not manning walks? I just don't want Star to be the only person that has to pay for all this mess, you know? After everything she's been through. Dorian knowing that David is Ace's son gives a whole new meaning to worst case scenario, don't you think? Tell me what you need. As long as it's more or less legal. <laughs> okay, well, I've got to run this Bible clip first. 
But I'm thinking we do the unthinkable and tell David he's a Buchanan. You know, when Mel died in that airplane crash, I gave up hope of ever finding love again. And then I found you and fell head over heels. I did too. <laughs> I was so happy. I was happy too. Oh, David, we can find our way back to being happy again. To joy, pure joy. David Vicaroshi? Will you marry me? Marry you? I'm supposed to be celibate. Only monks are celibate. It is within the parameters of, of, of spiritual enlightenment for a seeker to take a mate, is it not? Yes, but Dorian, we must all choose our own path. But David, I honor your path. I respect it. I do not want you to change, not at all. I will be the one to change. Well, in order for you to take my path, you must relinquish all desire, not act on it. But what if my path toward enlightenment is through you, David. Let us join our lives together and we can walk toward Nirvana. If only you'll marry me. Okay, so if we're gonna do this and tell David the truth, we better do it before he falls for one of Dorian's traps. You're thinking this is the way to go? I'm thinking it may be our only option. Well, then we need to get David alone, without Cruella. Because if she's somehow able to convince him that they're soulmates or something, the cans are toast. I am honored by your proposal. And if I allowed myself to desire, it would be you that I desired. And you're right. One is allowed to take a mate and to love a mate and still be a seeker. Is that a yes? I need to meditate on it until the morning. You'll have my answer at sunup. I have my answer already. I'm going to be Mrs. David Buchanan. <laughs> what do you mean Lee will get what's coming to her? I just have to believe that, right? Look, darling, I... I can't imagine what you must be feeling after what Star did on the stand today. We were getting to be friends again. Right? And just like that, we're back to enemies. I, I don't know. I, I don't know what happened. I'm sure that I, nothing that I can say will convince you that it will get better. But it will. It may take a while, but darling, justice has a way of being done. And sometimes in ways that you least expect. Thanks. Dust, and all we have is time Go to fate to rest And hellos to goodbye Crawling in the mud Dulling all the pain Will we all combust Before we find the way
is gone I've nothing here to keep Oh, can I wake up? Can I run away? What is so Stay tuned for scenes from the next One Life to Live. One Life to Live? She's asked me to marry her, and I don't know what to do. You don't think I killed Lee Albert, right? How do you think I would feel if my dad went to prison? Mr. Manning, please rise. By the authority of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, 